next we want to count the numbers of records we have for example I'm gonna copy it here so there are two ways for us to find out I can either scroll down like this if I have a totally different database that is you know if we can see one here it's AdventureWorks this one What are the table names there? LT dot customer. Let's see if I can find pretty big number. Yes. So yeah, you now I have to scroll down and find out it's eight forty four four seven. Uh, maybe there are uh, much bigger than these one here, but you get the idea. So, so <clears throat> I want to find the count of it. So there is one by as well as just scroll down, but select. Let's go with the first one, count, and then this, this one I can enter uh, the star in it because we're just counting the number of records we have from cricket underscore db dot dbo dot cricket all right so it should give me the number what was it 20 <clears throat> so it's saying this uh, uh, the errors are very important what you're saying is invalid object name so right off the bat you know that something is wrong in the uh, <coughs> naming so all you have to do is this and run it again it's giving me 20 now this one was 847 I believe let's copy it here before star we can say count and right there 847 so count function is not just to find out the whole of uh just the like uh, uh number of rows it's uh, much bigger for example you could uh, count all the characters who made runs greater than uh a certain numbers you know <clears throat> or or where count all the players who got no wickets so you get the idea so i'm gonna leave it right there we're gonna see it uh, in a future video but that's how count works.